next topic is uh, adapter ports. 220 volt adapter ports, different single phase plugs, and uh, how to run a single phase 220 welder on a three phase 220 outlet, and what we can do here with adapter ports to adapt to situations at a friend's house, a job site, uh, somewhere a customer, bigger plants that only have three phase power, that don't have single phase outlets. Can you still use your welding machine and what do you have to do to make this work without lugging a generator around? So the cord that you see here is a cord that plugs into an engine drive welder or an RV style outlet in a campground or on the side of your house. It has two hots right here, a common and a ground. Now the common is not used in this configuration. It goes to a regular NEMA 50 plug here. And um, this plug is like basically like the Miller and Everlast style electrical outlet, hot, hot and ground. The common is like dropped along the way or never even hooked up. So this cord here has molded plugs. Miller and Lincoln sell those, a couple other guys sell those. You can make one of those yourself but you spend a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, I found a good deal on this. I'll put a couple links in the description of everything that I found here. If you want to get something, build something, whatever you want to do, and um, hopefully that helps somebody out. So this is my big adapter box here. I acquired this over the years. Some ad adapters I like inherited, people made for me, some I made myself. and. Uh, let's look what they're all about and what they do. So this guy here for example is a 240 or 220 volt plug three phase. The configuration how it works is a ground, a hot, a hot and a hot. And this is the style outlet that I use on my welding machines. Most of you guys are probably going to use this style outlet here. Either way, hot, hot, ground hot hot ground works the same way what I did is you connect any two of the three hots to these two hots leave the third one open connect the ground and there's your adapter cord so this adapter here goes from a 20 amp 240 volt three phase 220 volt three phase plug to my welder and um, what you can tell here when you see this when you when you're not sure what you have what the customer has there's always little numbers on here that are like a dead giveaway l15 20p so if you look this up or if the customer sends you that number because his outlet shows something like this then you can just go find the plug make an adapter cord same thing here this guy here with this little piece on there that's the ground so the ground connects to the ground the other three are hot so you connect any two of the other three and you have your single phase adapter now this guy here is a 30 amp plug ground hot hot 240 single phase to 240 single phase this one here again is one of those cords that goes from a generator or RV style outlet on the side of your house or a, a campground to 20 outlet to my style welding machine. It's just like the one I showed at first but the female end here is different because my machines have a different end. This is the dual 110 cord that goes to 220 that I showed in a different video. So this one here goes from 220. Uh, 20 amp to a European 220 connector. This one goes from a European connector back to the American 220. This is my cable for measuring uh, amperage draw on a machine where I can put my clamp amp meter around the hot and measure what the amp draw is. This is a pigtail that I use to wire myself into a breaker box if the customer has no outlet but has a panel that can be used. Um, 
The red and the black are the two hot that go to the outside here. The white is the common, goes to the center. And the green one is the ground. From there, I can adapt with all these cords as I showed you to whatever welding machine I have. This one is basically for dual voltage machines where I can plug into 110 and it goes onto a 220 plug. So this is the one to go from 110 to 220 to put 110 on a 220 outlet. And then this is the one to go back to 110. This guy here goes from a 30 amp, like an air compressor outlet to my style welder. So this one here is some RV style adapter to go from a 30 amp single phase outlet to a 220 amp outlet, which is still single phase, only one hot leg is used here. That's another piece that I made to wire myself into a breaker box. This one here goes from the Miller style outlet to my style outlet. This one here goes from my style outlet to the Miller style outlet. And that's about it. I mean, there's a ton of other ones out there. On the three-phase plugs, what you have to watch out for is they come with a smaller diameter here. And um, the smaller diameter is typically 20 amp, and then the larger diameter is 30 amp. But the writing on the plug typically shows you that. Here you see the difference between a 20 amp and a 30 amp plug. Both of those are for 480. All of the plugs, when you look real close, they're all labeled if they're for 480 or if they're for 240. And then it will show you if it's single face or three face with a symbol. So the key is to know which plug you need, which outlet your customer has, and adapt, and adapt your machines accordingly.